in the near future, uh, when educational ministry buys something, uh, it's not delivered in one one time. It normally takes up to two years. It's a single big buy, but the deliver it's slow. The education ministry of Brazil pretends to buy this year more 200,000 stations uh, with 90,000 90, computers with solutions like that. These are not only for rural areas and we use multi-terminal but with two or three heads only, not five like that. There will be a network with more computers using multi-terminal. Well, let's talk a bit about the free software that's been used in those computers. Uh, educational ministry shows Debian. You can see in the login screen that there is a Powered by Debian logo because the focus on community of Debian. There are a lot of Linux distributions. There are many of good Linux distributions, but Debian is different because the focus is on people. People, uh, I mean, uh, the, the focus is community. Everything that is done is to make the life easier. Uh, it's <coughs> when you, Linux now it's serious stuff. You can earn money with it. And many companies, the most of them, man, most of communities, Linux communities has focus on the money. Debian is different. People earn money with Debian, but this is not the focus. The focus is people. This is why Debian was chosen, the main reason behind the decision. We also use KDE as the graphical environment. This is a screenshot of uh, the version 2 of Linux Educacional, the same as we have here. KDE, KDE was chosen due to its friendly interface it's more easy to teach the teachers how to use it and to, to pupils. And there are a lot of applications, including educational applications. When we were made in uh, Linux Educacional, we had in mind that user must be able to do things very easily. Things need to just work. The user can play and read interesting content like video, PDF files, and any kind of readable and playable content. Can surf the net with support to Java and Flash. This is installed out of the box, just play. Write and read documents, play multimedia files and DVDs. This is interesting because if you put a DVD on the, the reader, the stations can play the DVD on different parts of the same DVD. The limitation is the, the, the speed of the, the drive. If the difference between the stations are not very big, they can play very well. This is very cool. They also can burn and CDs and DVDs and learn and teach with educational applications. I'll talk a bit about the advantages of using multi-terminal solutions. The power consumption is something very interesting about this. I'm, the compressions I'm showing here are based by the standard solution that is widely used in Brazil, that is, you use one PC for each seat. If you had five PCs instead of one PC with five monitors, the power consumption when the CPU load is high would be this. <coughs> this is measured in watts. This is a very big difference. If you, this is the price needed only for uh, electricity, power consumption for one year for the same scenario comparing five PCs to one multi-terminal this is and in the volume I'm talking about this is very important to the government you can buy a lot of machines with this economy only by electricity the acquisition price is lowered because you have only one PC instead of five uh, it's simpler to share things if you need a printer, if you need to share a printer, just plug it to the PC. There is no network, there is nothing. Just plug it to work. It's more easy to maintain. Again, the low maintenance, this is, this is great. It's only one PC. No, you don't have five, you don't need network infrastructure, you don't need switch hubs. It's just a PC. Uh, you share computer resources like CPU, memory, HD. This is something good. When you are making a multi-terminal compared to using one PC for each station, you produce much less trash. This is very important to do the volume of the, the, the project too. Also, this process of making it consumes le much less electricity. This is also important. So this is eco-friendly, as our friends told me. Eco-friendly. <laughs> uh, Fee Networks is a Brazilian company uh, it's th this is the company where I work at. 
the mission of the company is to deliver IT solutions for reducing TCO. What does that mean? For example, this is a model bot that we do for embedded device or for thin clients. We don't have focus on exciting uh, specifications. We de determine what user needs and we do our best to find the, the solution that less expensive. These two components that are key components of the board are recycled. At China, you can buy, you can buy components that are taken from old, old hardware. So you can buy this for a cheap price and we have a great performance thin client or embedded device. This is a very, very interesting thing. The, the company is from Brasilia, Brazil. We have about 50 employees. Uh, our main uh, software development is Linux for embedded device and the version 2 of education, Linux Educacional were made by us. By hardware, we have thin client or embedded device, motherboard, VGA cards, USB peripheral, and extension cables. We also has, have exclusive distribution for Latin America. This, this is just a detail. This is some sources. I can share this presentation with you so you can verify all the data. We'll put it on the Sure, OK. And uh, this is by email. If anyone has any questions, I'll be available on the break. Please feel free to contact me. I'll send. Uh, Milton will talk now about the educational parts of the project.